everyone, this is Rachel and welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be talking about my December TBR. But first I'm going to have my November wrap up and that's just because my November wrap up is tiny. I figured it would just merge the two together. So for my November wrap up, as I stated in, at the beginning, in my November TBR, my main focus was NaNoWriMo, and I won! I wrote over 50,000 words. I have another story of which to work on in the future. I did finish one book in the month of November, and that is Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno Garcia. This is my first Silvia Moreno Garcia book, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it is about a girl who accidentally awakens a Mayan death god and has to go with him on an adventure for him to reclaim his body parts, to reclaim some of his missing body parts, to go and get the throne back from his twin brother. It was something that really appealed to me just because so and, and when I was younger, I spent some time in Guatemala, and so any Latino or Mayan-inspired um, books really interests me. And this is fantasy, and it was set in the 1920s, which is not a typical era or a typical time period that I read in. And so I really enjoyed it, and I just love that the main character's name was Cassiopeia. So I gave this book five stars. That is the only book I finished in the month of November, but I did make some progress on some other ones. I read a little bit more of The Fires of Heaven by Robert Jordan. It got a little bit further. I'll be honest, this book is kind of a slog for me, but it could be because it's not like something that I necessarily am like, I just want to take and read all the time. It hasn't caught my fancy. I don't know if you guys or I don't know about you guys, but I am a mood reader, and so I pick up what I'm interested in reading and not necessarily what I have set, told people that I want to finish. So, And I will be uh, working on this further in the month of December. No promises on finishing it. I've already told my husband because he's really the one who is wanting to talk with me more. Also, in the month of November, I picked up uh, digging for Richard III, and this is the story of the people and archaeologists who, following historic record, they went to a site where they thought that Richard III was probably buried. Um, but I am just a little bit further. I've been using the flap jacket. So I've read like the first couple chapters. Um, and so far what I get here is that archaeologists were like, are taking on the project because they're interested in the location of where he is possibly buried and they've never gotten to work on an excavation there before but they're not 100 percent hopeful that they will find him that's not how archaeology works and so i it's really for me it's interesting because i'm learning a lot more about a field that gets romanticized in hollywood videos or hollywood movies it gets romanticized in hollywood movies all right another book that i picked up in November and I plan to continue is How to Astronaut by Terry Virts. And I was just intrigued by the title and in November I was writing a science fiction. So I was like, oh, that would be the perfect, you know, nonfiction book to read. And I've come to find out it's a, uh, it's a selection of essays. So I've only read a couple of them, but I do hope to finish this in December as well. Now, on to my ambitious December TBR. 11 books, one of which I have already read in Return to the Library. Um, but you know what? I turned all my homework in last Friday. Today's actually the 6th of December when I'm filming this, so I turned all my homework in last Friday. I'm done with schoolwork. So that opens a lot of free reading time, in my mind anyway. So on to the books I would like to read and finish in December. So besides the three that I am currently reading, I would like to I would like to read Jade City. Now this is something that when it came out, I did find it interesting, was curious in reading it, but 
I'm really bad about reading books right away when they come out. And recently, many people on, uh, and recently many people on YouTube that I watch have been reading it and really loving this. And I was like, all right, let's let's do it. So I have finally picked it up. And if you are hearing laughter, that is because my husband's in the other room laughing about something. He likes his comedy shows. I don't know. All right. And so the second book that I would like to read in the month of December is Queen of the Conquered by Case and Calendar. And from what I have gathered, this book is about a woman who is seeking revenge for her family being murdered. And it's also, it seems to be like one of the themes of the stories uh, is those who have been oppressed keeping people like them oppressed as well. Uh, Sigourney is someone who is a free status, but she has the same skin color as the slaves. And so that's like the major controversy in this book that I've picked up so far. I have started it in the month of December. I'm just a couple chapters in, but it's very interesting to me since she's a character who is very much self-loathing. And so I wasn't quite expecting the main character to be like that. Probably you could put her in the character you're not supposed to like or the disagreeable character. So I'm, I'm curious how my thoughts are going to evolve on this one. All right. And then the next book I have is Pandora's Star by Peter F. Hamilton, and it is a space opera. A lot of the books that you'll see for this one are going to be space operas just because that is my favorite genre. And I'm trying to read some more popular space operas to see what I think. The next I have The Raven Tower by Anne Leckie. And this is a fantasy. I, you know, like I said, it's a couple of days already, like a week. It's like a week already into December. So some of these books I picked up, read like a chapter or so. And this is one I read and was not expecting it to be in second person. I believe second person. I believe second person is when it's like, you, this, you, that, yeah. So that kind of threw me off. I wasn't expecting it. So now I know that when I come to this book, I may have to come from it just, you know, in a different mood. Not like, oh, I'm just going to enjoy the journey, but like, oh no, it's more like this is the narrator's talking to the reader. So I am interested in this one. Now... Now the next one on my list, I will admit I find it a little intimidating. It is a chunker of a book and very popular. I had tried watching the first season of the TV series and just could not get into it, but I have enough experience knowing that screen adapt, adapt blah, 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 blah. I have enough experience that screen adaptations are not always good or what you should judge a story on. And so this book has made my list and it is, apparently I picked up two books. And this book is Leviathan Wakes by James S. A. Corey. Wow, it was such a chunker that I did not realize I had picked up two books instead of one. Um, so yeah, so this book intimidates me just a little bit. Now, for the small book that tried to hitch a ride, I have In an Absent Dream by Shauna McGuire. Now, one of the companion novels to this in a, Down Among the Sticks and Stones, I read at the very beginning of December. So I've already taken or returned that book from the library, but technically that is part of my TBR because I had got it at the same time I got this. So I'd like, I'm just trying to get caught up on the novella series. And for those who aren't familiar with the series, it is a portal fantasy series. And it's about the people who've been kicked out of their worlds and how they're coping. All right, so next on my list is Ancillary Sword. I have read, I read Ancillary Justice a couple years ago and really, really liked it. And I actually did pick this up and start reading it around the same time. And then it made it, I had to return it to the library. And so it's been sitting on my currently reading list for a while. And so I'd like to get back into it. I find Breck very interesting, and I'm curious to know what goes on. 
So this next one, uh, the book I'm holding is an anthology, uh, but it's I'm not planning to read the whole anthology in the book of, or in the month of. <laughs> I am not planning on reading the whole anthology in the month of December. Uh, the story that I'm wanting to read is Emergency Skin by N.K. Jemison, and uh, this is how my library had it. So second to last that I would like to read in the month of December is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. And for what I, I've heard different, I've heard a little bit of information on the interwebs and YouTube. So I was, I'm familiar with the basic, basic premise of this story, which is Daro, a red, is infiltrated into the golds, which is the higher caste of society, and it's set on Mars. And the last book I have on my TBR has been on my TBR before this year, and it's Nine Facts Gambit by Yoon Han Lee. And I would like to read it. And I realized that some of these books I didn't give you a lot of information on just because most of the time when I pick up a book, I pick it up on just a little bit of information, not a ton. So I don't know that much about it and didn't want to go do a whole bunch of research and make myself go, oh, I don't want to read that after all. So yeah, like I said, an ambitious TBR. I'm excited to see how much I actually get read. But I'm curious to know what you guys are reading are planning on reading in the month of December, so please leave me a comment down below. Thank you and have a great day.